Welcome to vlog number two. There's nothing like brushing your teeth in the morning. klart att fjärna fåra veck det så här. Tada! <laughs> I made it. <laughs> And now we're off to daycare to get the little one. Är det inte det som Let's try and make this look a little bit better, shall we? I think this both looks and sounds a better, but maybe like that. Doing daily vlogs is not something I've done before, so I'm kind of learning as I'm doing, um, trying to put kind of a story together and mix it a, mixing it to be kind of interesting for you to watch. But yeah, hopefully it gets better <laughs> along the way. Anyway, it's just not Peter Lindgren that made me want to do this. This guy over here. This is Mr. Tom Buck. Four years ago, I think it's four years ago, he did 50 days of daily vlogs. And going back and watching those videos, not only watching him be a little bit younger, but also watching how he has evolved doing YouTube videos is kind of interesting because he started out like everybody else, just pointing a camera at him and not probably knowing what to film and making the best out of it. Until now he has a YouTube channel with 100,000 subscribers. Congratulations, Tom, and doing quite well. And the quality of his videos has just evolved immensely. So those daily vlogs, I went back and watched some of them and it was fun to go back and watch how other YouTubers did their job earlier in their career. So maybe this is something I can do four years down the road, look back at these videos and see how they look. I want to try and include some kind of technical camera stuff or camera gear or tech gear in each vlog that I do. And today I want to talk about cages for my Sony cameras. I have Like I said yesterday, I have a Sony a7S III and I have my Sony a7 IV that I'm filming on and I have gotten cages for both cameras. Now I have recently just got a full cage for my Sony. I have been using these half cages until now. These half cages is quite all right um, when it comes to mounting stuff on them. But there's one thing that's different between the half cage and the full cage, and that is the cold shoe mount. On the half cage, the cold shoe mount is flat on top, while on the full cage, it's kind of sideways on top. And this might not seem like a big deal, but if I am going to fully equipped 
this camera with a top handle, a microphone, external microphone, and an external screen like the Atoms Ninja 5 on top of that, using it as a full video kit. The half cage having the culture mount on top, flat on top, it kind of makes the whole thing a little bit too small when it comes to the top handle. Now I am using my Atomos Ninja 5 just to see how this looks. So I'm going to disconnect that and going to mount everything onto my Sony A7S III to show you what I mean. So this is the this is the rig with the half cage. The Adams Ninja 5 is on top and we have the top handle over here. Then we have the half cage here and the external microphone is on top. This is the rig and with the half cage and the external microphone on top here, you can see that for me to hold this it's right next to the top handle so the microphone is just a tiny bit in the way so it's quite tight to hold it like this but if I put the full cage on it will probably be a lot better because then the microphone is going to be on the side so let's try that So the full cage, it's an advantage to have the cold shoe for, for the external microphone on the side kind of tilting a little bit so you have a better grip to the rig. So this is much better, I think. That's why I got the full cage instead of just using the half cage. I could probably have gotten a new half cage with the cold shoe mounts on the side slightly tilting but I have two half cages one for each camera and if I was going to buy something new I might as well get a full cage so I also have that to choose from so this was just something that I wanted to show you if you were looking for a cage for your camera a half cage or a full cage just be aware that with the half cage you might find some half cages with the cold shoe flat on top and I would highly suggest that you get a cage where the cold shoe is tilting on the side just to be able to do this if you ever want to do this so yeah now it's time for me to watch Tom's latest video when should you use a lavalier microphone so that's the video for today if you're still here thank you for watching and maybe I will see you again tomorrow bye a lavalier microphone. I should say this is all based heavily on my own opinion and my own experience, so obviously that makes it just hard scientific fact. Definitely not subjective at all. I think the